What is going on, you beautiful people? It's Australia here, and welcome to Merlin the Movie. This is our third installment of this series where we play one single character in Duel for the full length of a feature film. If you see these dark circles under my eyes, it's because I'm tired and it's really late and I have to work in like a couple hours. So let's get through this intro. Uh, first and foremost, we're gonna be playing Merlin. Super excited to be doing that. Thank you guys for voting in the community tab of the YouTube page for which character is going to be doing next. If we keep a thousand likes on this series, I will continue to do this bi-weekly, but uh, we're adding a little bit of a twist. Because mages and guardians have been dominating the list, I'm going to remove mages and guardians from the vote going forward until we can get some more diversity. So we're gonna be doing warriors, assassins, and hunters. Once we get assassins, we'll take those off. It'll be warriors, hunters, and we're gonna keep going and trying to get some more diversity in this series. Thank you guys again so much for making sure to show some love on this series. And number two, I'm going to be doing even more caster pack, counselor, caster announcer pack giveaways through the comment section below. I've already given away four or six. I'm pretty sure six. Um, all you have to do is leave a comment on the video. I will respond to your comment and you hit me up on Twitter or Discord and I'll send it to you. Thank you guys so much once again. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into Merlin the movie. This is what we're starting. This is what we're starting Merlin the movie with. Merlin versus Janice, bro. Okay, all right. Well, I hope you guys are excited. This is actually what we are starting Merlin the movie with. A, a, a matchup versus a Janice. I could not sell this any better, to be honest with you. I really couldn't. Welcome. And I hope you guys are enjoying, you know, the intro and stuff. But we are here. We are here with Merlin the movie, game number one. We're just going the older, wiser Merlin as the first kid. Now, we'll, we'll play through a couple as we go on. Uh, matchup wise, really no clue. I think I'm gonna do conduit. No, let's do. Let's do sands of time, Bancroft. I don't know. Let's just let, let's do something like that, huh? And then we'll go shell. No. What what does shell really do for us? Agus does something. Agus does something. And we'll put uh because it's a Janus, we'll put no points on our flicker. All right. So, this is an interesting matchup in the sense of I've never played this matchup. I can't believe we're starting Merlin the movie off versus the Janus. It's usually... I mean, I'm over 3k MMR GM. This dude went conduit. Okay. So, we don't have to worry about any... Um, what's it called? About any Bumbus Hammer shenanigans. We're just going to make sure we out clear. Maybe hit him with a little pop. And then continue farming. All right. So again, this is going to be an interesting one. This is my first Merlin duel game in quite some time. I'm not going to do anything here. Um, we have better, like, MP5 with Sands. So, I got no reason not to want to get aggressive, you know? We're frying already. Actually, I was going to say... They might be dead because they portaled already, but it turns out I couldn't finish that. No way I'm Aegison. Yeah, no way I'm Aegison that. I could honestly play for that, but I think I'm just gonna go for this instead because I don't think Janice with the lead is too spooky. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Like I was saying. Not too spooky. He could have went for red buff. But he didn't. He just decided to simply be worse. Yeah, I actually had to go for that. Alright, I actually had to go for that as well. <laughs> We're fine though. No more abilities will be hitting us. So we can back up. What a play though. This guy's uh this guy's swinging. He doesn't have any more mana, so I'm not gonna let him go for red. We'll just be on the lookout for any sort of uh, unstable vortexes going over the wall, but I highly doubt that he went for what's it called. I highly doubt that he was able to go for red. He might have, though. Let's look at the gold lead. Ah, he did. He actually got it because, yeah, he's up in gold. I think that checks out. Impressed. We need cooldowns um, to be able to win this one because Merlin's cooldowns are not the best. And actually, I think Janice's abilities are a bit easier to hit um, in, the, in the heat of battle. But, I have better, like, all-in burn. Like, Fire Stance late game just fucks, as long as I'm juking a portal. So, we'll play through that. 
We do have a bit of an XP differential here. We we're able to get a chalice, we have healing. We forced him into divine, and that was really what I wanted to do with this build. If I had cooldowns, man, I'm I'm blinking in right there. His portal's down. Like you gotta really get aggressive when you know you have um Wow, he got that too. That's what I'm talking about. Like when, whenever the portal's down, like you just go. If I'm him, dude. I'm backing and sending the old like 100 <laughs> percent Think he's gonna back and send it? We're just gonna be on the lookout and back. He could definitely send it, but it wouldn't catch me in time. I don't think. He did send it, but he sent it through the wall. So he doesn't know the lineups. He's not a true Janus man, as you see. He went down there, whereas I'm going right through that blue buff. We need Kronos pended on line ASAP, though. Genji's into Kronos for sure. We're going to have to do so much damage to him. Well... I wanted to get more aggressive there. Didn't have the damage to do so. We were able to clear some of the wave while missing that, so it wasn't all bad. Um, if he portals here, I kill him with a three. Ooh. That's what we were looking for. That looks like he's staying far back, as he knows. Well, we have time to get our blue. There's no way he can go for this. And then we can fight for bread. Honestly, this is a good this is a good showing for Merlin, in my humble opinion, because I think he's best in mage matchups. Like mage versus mage, Merlin really shines. Against melees, not easy, right? Like up against like Baka or Kali, it is not easy. But in a situation like this, it's it's pretty good actually. Oh, this is a really good spot for me. All right, so we get to go four red for free. Listen here. Vision is I think I heard him on minis, so he went to minis there. We're going to use our fire stance to burn down the wave and flicker in. I think having a movement ability like Merlin's flicker is super important in this matchup as well. Like more often than not, I can just use it um, aggressively to juke out like some of his damage. I am going to save everything because if he portals again, I have a killing opportunity. So like right now I'm in fire stance. Hit him with the end of that. Man. I think I'm going to get Polly as well. We know he did. I'm pretty sure. Maybe he, you know what? I think that side was actually his blue. These are up. Nope. I was wrong. <laughs> I suck. I was wrong. We know. Oh my goodness. What? I heard him portal. That actually hit. Huh. I'm surprised. I I read the juke wrong. I'm lucky. Should have blinked in there and waited. I didn't have to juke that. I certainly just eat that. You know how much damage he does. Yeah, I mean, a flicker in stance, cha stance change definitely kills him. That's what we were looking for. So the knockup always confirms the snowball if you're playing correctly. Um, or just the slow, whatever you really need. It's usually pretty easy. Um, I actually was transforming into blue stance, so there wasn't a knockup there. It's good to know that, though. Um... If you're ever in a situation where you need to. I think Blink would not be terrible. I'm going to go Blink. Let's go Blink Merlin. So I can Blink one of his combos and then Flicker the other one. He did go full damage, which, hey, I mean, like, uh, uh, as much as I want to dick around with this guy, like, this is Merlin the movie. We're not playing for L's. You guys want the best gameplay possible. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the most optimal build is not going full damage. Oh. 
think we're gonna stick with blue, honestly. More cooldowns, less problems. I don't think putting points in the three matters too much. Like, usually I'm a one point in the alt kind of guy, but... But, um... Jeez. He's nuts. He's insane. How does he do it? I mean, we're just trying to use our, our lead to the best of our ability. Hit him with the poly shot. We have so many cooldowns at this point. You just can't keep up. We're going to hit you with the one-shot combo Rooney in a second. Just get ready for it. Oh, I missed the poly shot. But I do have blink. <laughs> Look at him trying to, like, go for it. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, what's your plan here, guy? I assume we see a, a portal come through to that red buff, maybe? That's what I would do. If I'm him, I'm holding the red, 100%. Looks like he's not. He's gonna save it for a fight. Okay. He is going defense here. He went... Wow, I didn't expect him to go Bancross. Might as well just... I was going to say flicker in. We're actually getting the worst of this fight by a fair bit. We've been missing. We'll play for these, but I think he'll just be walking up. There we go. Just forcing him out. Ms. Blue is... Actually, uh, which I didn't realize. I'm fighting for minis when I just saw his blue spawn. Unlucky. Yeah, keep it flicker on a low cooldown, actually. I see the value. I was thinking, like, all I have to use it... Like, I have to use it aggressively once in a fight, and then, like, I'm winning, right? But this is smart, I think. So we're going to go Divine Ob Shard and then probably Claw. And that'll be the build. Um. Yeah, that sounds right. I don't even know if Divine's that worth it. I just threw a game, though, because I didn't get Divine on Gev when I was beating an Apollo. So I said, like, eh, anti heal's not that important. So maybe, just maybe, we need to make that adjustment. But he missed the wave, so I'm going to go for tower damage. He has no real kill potential ever unless I turn my back to him. Like, unless I give him, like, a max range snipe. I just don't ever care about being low. Like, I'm still in a situation where I win this fight. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I was gonna say, what are you, what are you going for here, Jethro? I want to make sure that I'm always aware of his positioning. Because I give him like one one shot, I'm going to be a little tilted. Oh, come on. Maybe we juke it and go for a little knock up there. Hit the snowball. Hit him with a bop. Poly shot. That hit. Unlucky. Top of back. Poly shot. Him ulting back in wouldn't be ideal. Let's get away before he can do that. And make sure we're back to defend this red. This is an action-packed game, huh? You guys are sitting on the edge of your seats, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just... I, I couldn't script this, man. I was hyped. I sat down. I got ready to record. We hop into a game. And, it, and it's against the Janus. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, he did just back. So we definitely can go for this. There's a steal potential if he warded. But we already know he has another lineup. He doesn't know the lineups. I, I've seen him throw these ults out willy-nilly. Yeah, he's gonna regret um, portaling like that when he does. Like, once I get some real damage online, I just, like, juke one and then he dies, you know? I'm just eating his damage because it's just not a lot. Portal me, do it. 
He ate the poly shot, unfortunate. Start it! <laughs> I want to get so aggressive and I can't. You ulting this? He actually didn't ult it. Huh. Well, we got the tower finally. <laughs> this is not how we should start Merlin the movie, man. People are going to click off. People are actually just going to click off. We'll go claw now, because why not? Why not? I have no use in getting another one. And then we'll finish off with upgraded sands and ob shard. No reason to get alternate timeline. I don't see myself ever dying. My one, my one uh, question mark, I will say, is like, are my poly shots good enough to just get Phoenix or should I be getting an actual poly? You know, I like, think that's a question. That is a question. But he's given us exactly what I want. Just like poly shots whenever I can. Didn't get too much damage there, but it'll start to add up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want him to stick around, so I'm gonna <laughs> auto twice, then leave. If I had real Polly, he's dead. That bird will go down eventually. That's good. that's actually our game plan, like doing that, because going for fire makes no sense. He has infinite burst over me. Like his two does more than my snowball, and his ult does more than anything else I have. So my my one play is to do that, um, and then blink in, chase him down, or something. So, you guys are going to catch me at that Phoenix line for a bit, huh? Start with some good burst. We're trying to keep him low here. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, this should be a kill. Good. Nice. Okay. Beautifully played. I want to make sure I got all my poly shots. Beautiful. Um, I don't think that's game. 15 seconds with two minions, probably not. Nah, we'll, uh, we'll back up so our back doesn't get stopped. Get that full sands of time we were talking about. Go in for the, the shard, sort of. And then switch to ice stance and get to that red buff. Um, that is not right. Whatever that is, I have no idea what that item is. It's not right. Whatever it is. Like, like, Soul Gem, Pythags, Typhons, no. All that wrong. Whatever it is. <laughs> I don't care what it is. It's just incorrect at this point in the game. My build is definitely, uh, you know, not the greatest. It's not, like, optimized. But that is, I don't know. I, I can't imagine what that would be, honestly. So we're just going to go for the end here. I do respect just the, you know, Holton waves and stuff. But hey, man, this is a movie and this was a boring match. I apologize. And I'm not trying to like backdoor. I walked in with the wave and just ended. You, you, you're Holton waves there. Like, I'm, I'm not sitting here all day. Like, if, we, if this is an interesting banger, I'll sit there. But that's episode one. Or ma Jeez, that's movie fucking. That's the first game. Let's move on to game number two. All right, so we are jumping into game number two, playing some Ang and Hoagie and Bologna were up. And I was just like, this is going to be rough, really, no matter how we slice it. But I think Bastet is more annoying to deal with IMO than the Bologna. And I kind of forgot about Hoagie. So hopefully this level 20, I mean, 2000 works for Hoagie doesn't put us in the dirt entirely. Um, we're going to go the Conduit Gem start this time. I'm thinking Conduit Gem, Kronos Pendant. 
And now we're getting paused upon. All right. So we'll uh, we'll cut to this and we'll be back when it's gone. All right. So we're good. This dude said daddy. Oh, I was like, what the heck is that noise? Aang is just beating ass over there. Um, Man. Beads is really good into this matchup, but so is Shell. I think I actually want to go with the beads, though. I'm too intimidated. What's up, gamer? We'll hit him with a what's up, gamer, and then we'll get locked in. Um, I don't want to give him an early lead. That's for darn sure. So probably leveling the the, the flicker here. Minions have spawned. You have blue? Keep an eye out for the fire nation. Are you at blue? I think they're blue. Alright, they're either at my blue, which is certainly a possibility. I mean, or, or we're at to see them on that ward. Yeah, okay. So they did their own blue, interestingly enough, and they did go mannequin scepter, so they are trying to get like aggressive. We don't have to be like too afraid here, because our wave clear is simply better. You know what, you're gonna... We're not too worried about this early pressure of a ho yi. Make sure we got our potions coming in though. They are trying to jump in on me. We'll give them a little bit of respect. Interesting. They're definitely not out confirming me for this. Later. <laughs> You got me. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Thought that was coming, so I shoot. Now we look for the kill. They have shell, so I'm not going to commit to like a stand switch with us. Ah! Wow! The shell actually made them... Wow! I am amazed that shell was enough. Well, unlucky. So if we had shell, we probably just win that, but I got beads. Unfortunate. Not a great start, honestly. I mean, I played everything better up until getting baited by the shell. And that'll do it. That'll give them the first blood, so. I'm gonna have to put a little bit more respect on their damage. And uh, there's nothing really to fight over, so I'm just gonna leave at this point. A little upset though. I essentially got too aggressive and got punished for it, but like this dude didn't make any plays to get that kill. He just sat back and got farmed. But minions also fucked me up, like 180, yeah. A solid 300 or so, 250 from the minions. That'll do it. That'll certainly do it. We're not gonna stop the aggression though. We're looking for kills. Okay. Fucking put him on skates. Your your shell's down, my guy. One more of those, you die. You better watch yourself. All right, we should be able to get close to pushing this wave under. Nah, cooldowns are too long. You think I don't see him? Seems like they they think I don't see him. Look, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Oh come on! I'm gonna make sure they don't get the XP for this. That should clear. Yeah. I don't think we can get this. Maybe. I use my cooldown, so like it's gonna be tough. Oh, it's gonna be tough. This is gonna take so long. Come on. Come on. Get me out of here. Are right, they go back for blue now, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're chilling. That's good. We will take that. We will take that. They probably finished Transcendence. They did. We're actually up in gold despite getting first blooded. So, uh, that's solid. The XP, the ho Yi is up. But we've been farming well. If they keep jumping in aggressively. We can certainly punish that. I dare you to jump on me, man. I need to hit these. Hey, okay, got the ult down. Um, my bounce could be rough, but they missed, so we're showing. They already shelled, so like you jump in, you're getting put in the dirt. 
Come on. Get me in there. Get me in there. Once again, just like losing the wave to try and get aggressive. I'll take it. I will take it. Might as well get all the farm we can on the way out. We're 300 gold up off that, which is not bad at all. Assuming that's enough, it is. And we'll grab the blue. And then tier one defense and a chalice. That's the play. Because we've been getting red buff. I don't... Oh. I guess we're getting tier two defense because I don't want to backspace. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to sell at that point. I already clicked it. I want a tier one and a chalice, but we'll do this instead. So, so far, so good. You know, we... Uh, did give up a little bit of early pressure. This man goes in. I'm putting him in the dirt. Yeah, I was guessing. I didn't have a ward. <laughs> I want to get aggressive, but, you know, I'm not going to go too far for this. Jump over. I dare you. I don't know that. <gasps> They're more like jumping out. We can grab a chalice here. I just see no reason to dive that tower. Like, I already died once from going too over aggressive. I'm not doing it again. Five or 400 gold lead despite getting first blood. Like, that's not a bad start. I'm thinking about Divine next. They don't have any anti-heal though, so Spear of the Magus or just Ob Shard could certainly be a play. Could certainly be a play. It really just depends on the next relic. Darn, I got juked. Come on. Give me that poke. Trying to triple bounce that, bro? It's not gonna work. It'll work. Yeah, didn't hit the two, so I knew there was no real kill potential for me there. He's not gonna do any damage to me, though. We're pumping autos, baby. We're doing it. Come on, we gotta hit those though. If we want any kills, we gotta hit those. Wish I could get there in time, but I definitely can't. Uh, we either go back for shell or sprint. We'll have to figure that one out, depending on what they get. Looks like we're grabbing uh, blue. Unlucky, but we get crazy CDR now, which will help us out in the long run. Might as well stuff this wave, go for minis, get blue, back up for relic. That's probably our best option. I'm gonna place a ward before I get the chance. Okay, they got horrific. That's what I was thinking. So we get sprint. Horrific, I don't think ever is a problem for us. I only like stuff that wave because I figured he was on the way. All right, so we'll get shard. Beautiful. So this is actually not bad. This means they have no survivability relic in that slot. It will force us to be a little bit uh, safer in our flicker ins, but we still do good damage. Gotta watch out for the fact that he has uh, Genji's though. You know, he he gets more more bounces than we think. But look at these cooldowns, man. What we're not going to do is ever give him any free fire giants. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Thought I was going to purple stance. Didn't click it in time. It's too late. 
It's too late. We messed it up. All right, we messed it up. Set back. We definitely want to switch to ice stance the second we can because being in fire stance is so bad. Being in fire stance is really bad. If this is Aussie, we just pivot into divine. If it's XE, which it should be, um, you know, he'll do big damage to us. He's already on that, clearly. Got a shell out. Got his pounds. We don't actually have the damage to pull this, but we do have the damage to kill him if he steps up to it. I didn't get him. He Wow. I guess I should have beads that one, man. Oh, man. I could have. Uh, I should have beads. I didn't think that he had it up. I underestimated his cooldown. He's got freaking 20% plus resets. That was bad. I sprinted instead of beads. That was such a misplay on my part. That's fine, though. We don't have the damage to match his. That's really all that's happening here. He didn't get tower either. That's good. He already jumped. Let's hope he's backing, like, right there. He just made it back, I saw him. Yeah, he didn't deserve that kill. That was all my misplay. Alright. We gotta step up, that's all. Gotta step up. I cannot believe I sprinted over beadsing. We're only down 200. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We have ob shard. We got CDR. We're chilling. We are chilling. You got Xy actually. Okay, so probably Xy kins here. Didn't get that. His bounce is already back up. Gotta be careful about that. I already jumped. And some good poke here. His blue is definitely up. We'll go over there for that. No way he was able to get it in time. He was. Damn it. We're still showing that we're able to scrap with him, man. But I'm still upset with how I played that. Um, I think we're gonna get Soul Reaver here, actually. It'll help out damage-wise. I can't tell what he's going into yet, so... He'll probably walk up and grab this tower here. He's getting a Sentry Ward, so he definitely wants to go for FG. Man. Man, oh man. I need to hit my abilities, A. Eh? He's on this. Not even gonna do anything about that, bro. Don't even care about that, bro. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Ah. Uh. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Could have been bad. Could have been bad. But it wasn't. He's definitely heading for fire, though. Definitely heading for fire, though. We gotta get in there. Gotta get in there fast. We're not gonna make it in time. Oh, he went for red. Interesting. Okay, we gotta look for a kill, then. We gotta look for a kill. Oh, we're going in here. Okay, we're playing this really well. Come on, man. His ult's gonna come up or something. His ult's gonna come up, just make this horrible for us. There's the ult. 
Unlucky. Well, we got our blue buff. And we got Soul Reaver. Fuck, man. It's so difficult. Like, with this much CDR, I'm assuming this is Kins. If it isn't, I have to go Divine next, but it's not a big deal. It's so hard. I have no relic, so I actually can't step up. Okay, he did get Kins. Say, I'm assuming you're waiting for me. Wow. This is going well. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna try him back. Go. I mean, we just have to run. Let's go! Alright, so we should be able to grab this tower, but can we get fire too? Or do we go Phoenix? Do we go Phoenix with this amount of time? Yeah, I think we do. We use our poly shots to the best of our ability. I don't think we get it, so I'm lucky, but. Yeah, we're just gonna back. We couldn't get it. Let's see, it's a bounce, but. It's not gonna be the biggest deal. Got that. Um, hmm. Damage wise, we just go Rod. Okay, he's going Aussie, so we'll get Divine. We'll get Divine the last slot. And we have Relics now. So yeah, he probably gets Red, which sucks, for sure. But. We're chilling. We are chilling. We have double relics. We just gotta poke them out. You sitting around a corner? Holy shit, he's getting pounded already. We're just gonna keep sending damage in his way. Not a good jump in for him. If I hit that, could have went for the kill. Unfortunate that I can't. But I mean we're just we're we're just getting late game, right? Like that's all the plan is here. If for some reason he sold this item, then we could always just pivot into Spear of the Magus. I'm gonna go cooldown beads before divine. It looks like he's heading for fire. He thinks I'm on fire, but I'm not. <laughs> so I don't care about that. We now have cooldown beads though, which I think is pretty strong. He was just checking it, so he's not on it. Good. All right, and he also hasn't built much. Just gonna chunk him a bit on the way in. I highly doubt he's on it. Could be. He is on it. I don't really care. I'll just go for his Phoenix. Yeah, I didn't expect him to be. He, he definitely wants to jump in, you can tell. Man, he is getting pounded. Gotta watch out for the yeah, the, the Genji's bounce. He has jump back up. Oh wow, he didn't jump that. Holy shit. Got him, but it wasn't enough! Just Fuck! <sighs> Unlucky. Unlucky. I knew I could kill him with my two. If I popped the health pot multipod, there's a chance that I'm living there, honestly. But we got to buy. I mean, this is the full build. So now, it's pretty clear what we gotta do, you know? We gotta hit our abilities. Check. I think I get Sprout, actually. Is there a difference? The cooldown is lower. Um, no, it's not. So, Entangling Wings is always the play here. All right, so we're going for the Sprout. The Sprout will help us out. As you can see, I have to play this like, I don't know, 
like twice as good as him to get a, an actual kill like my man can jump in at half hp and still one shot me if he plays it correctly whereas i have to be like going crazy at all times and um, we should have enough time to grab this if it is up it's not up yet spawning in now So we used all of our cooldowns there. We definitely don't want to step up. He already horrific though. We got his Genji's proc. We can play off that. We do have sprint up, but we don't have our beat. We want to stay in ice stance whenever possible. I don't mind taking some auto attacks here to dish out damage. And we got his ult. Not bad at all. So I've got poly shots here. I want to see if I can get him to turn around. He did not turn around. And this is not a fight that I would like to take. So we'll get entangling and we'll get a power bot. All right. We got our Sprout. We got our upgraded beads. We got red buff. And we're going in, man. Let's go. Again, we want to be in ice stance whenever possible. I heard him jump. Not bad. Started off with some good poke. Okay. Let's go! We sprouted him, baby! I just sprouted him in the fucking corner and made sure I could confirm everything. Let's go. That's definitely game. I'm popping all my potions in the meantime. Hell yeah. Easy dubs, man. Easy dubs. Get some extra poly shots in there. And then we'll step up. We're going to use uh, our full cooldowns from both of these stances before we... Yeah. Before we go for the full burn. But we take that dub. Hell yeah. Need a freaking 2,000 worshiper ho ye late game, man. The early game farm was what we were looking for, and we take that dub. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's jump into game three and continue this win streak. All right, so we are jumping into game number three. This time we're going to go the, the Master Soulbinder skin, and we're actually up against a Zeus. So, interestingly enough, man, we have had two Mage versus Mage matchups and not like auto attack centric mages. We had a Janus and now a Zeus. Which I think is just absurd. Um, we already went, let's see, we went Sands of Time, we went Conduit. So this time, huh, do we want to try a Bumba's? We could try like a Mannequin Scepter. Yeah, let's try Bumba's and Bancroft's. Let's do something like this and see how that works. I think that Aegis works very well into Zeus, so we're going to do that. And I don't think we have too much to fear, so we're not going to put a point in Flicker. Hey, thanks, friend. Good luck. And we're going to hopefully... I forgot there's a special on this skin. He kind of just floats around. Is this the movie? Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> is he hyped? You think he's hyped for Merlin the movie? <laughs> Let's see. He said good luck. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'll just grab those minis. Honestly, probably should have just sent my one. It's a little bit of a less cooldown, but I can still full clear with my ice stance, so. As long as we, like, step in front of his thing, he can't full clear the wave, or as we can, which is always good. Um, he did go mannequin, so that's something to keep in mind. I feel like I can just burst this before he shows up, and I definitely will. Yeah, it looks like he's just giving up on it. I'm not going to grab this, though, because look at my mana already. <laughs> That's why. That is the one reason. I feel like every movie I try to get a song stuck in your guys' head, so this time, like, I'm not going to do it. But I was about to. I was about to sing. I was about to harmonize. We're going to take over level 5 once we grab this blue ski. We already have ourselves a nice little gold lead. That's all, uh... It's all duels about, right? Small dubs, small victories. Looks like this guy is is gonna go for the minis, which is a smart call on his end. We take over to five. He's on those minis. He also takes over to five. I think we're gonna clear with our stance switch here. 
get a little bit extra poke in the meantime. Boop him, and then get out. 48 damage, baby. Check that out. That's the difference in the Bumba's V Mannequin Scepter build. That 48 damage. All right, so not a bad start. Take a look at the gold lead. We have what? <laughs> 20. We have 20 gold. How is that possible? We got red. We got blue. You got minis. He got blue. And we both cleared the waves. All right, about 30 gold. This man's insane. What can I say? Something happened that I missed because I should be up a bit more. Maybe he's just been last hitting every minion and I have not. So Zeus does not have big damage at the moment. So I'm even going to walk through this. Uh, we shouldn't be able to catch him. We can snowball him, but that's all we got. We didn't get any relics, but we got his ult. And that's something. That is something. Ooh. There we go. We got enough gold for me to be happy about that exchange. And we'll send it on back. Mage v mage matchups are pretty much all item dependent. This dude's going attack speed with mannequins. I'm going ability base with Bancroft. So it's like, you know, whoever gets their items online first usually wins. He's already there. So Zeus has no way to stop Merlin fire stance. Darn. Uh, I was trying to get an extra poly shot with my dash there. Which means that I can go to Fire Stance whenever I'm looking for a Relic or a kill. Which definitely benefits me. These should be up in a couple seconds. Alright, yeah, I was going to say, like, I want Bancroft, but I'm also down to just stuff this wave. Unfortunately, it means I'm probably going to lose red if I stick around. Be back now, he won't know we left. Maybe he'll get scared. Nah, we'll stay. I missed that. Terrible. He's hitting a few auto attacks. I want to put a little bit of respect on Ring of Heck Gate. He detonated already, so there's no way he... Uh... Oh man, I gotta hit those. There's no way that he goes for any kill potential here. He's trying. He is trying. I'm not too worried about his damage, though. Like, I've got my snowball, and that's the best confirm on the map, baby. All right, he already used everything. I'm just going to confirm this and dip out. There we go. We'll grab that. And we'll dip out. You're not killing me, bro. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm actually going to get any credit for that wave, but it's fine. I was wondering if he was going to invade my buff, but he decided not to. So not the best trade for us, getting the red for losing that wave. Like, that's not sick. Like, I'm not super stoked about that, but also, I wanted to confirm red. And we got his ult. And now maybe we head over to his blue ski, you know? He already got it. He must have backed somewhere that I wasn't paying attention. And we missed even more minions there. Man, I am the king of missing farm. So this guy is very confident, as you can tell. He keeps stepping up. When we have cooldowns, we just out-trade him super hard. In fact, we might just out-trade him right now. One more detonate and I die, but he doesn't have it for a while, whereas I... Oh man, I was going to say I already have my stance switch back up, but... Hey, if we zone him off from a full wave, it'll be worth, so... He didn't actually back, wow. I'm amazed. So we'll just kill him here. Pop. Bop! We love to see that. I didn't even snowball. I thought I I thought I would have had to snowball there to confirm that one, but we didn't need it. I understand his fear. You need cooldown on Zeus. Um, you need to detonate twice in a fight to get a kill this early on. I haven't used my Aegis yet. 
Um, I haven't needed to. It's like, sure, I could have like pre is just to be safe, but there was no need. Eventually, I will say if I continue at this pace where I'm just like, I don't need to Aegis, and then I actually did need to Aegis, he's going to get a kill one of these days because of that. But, you know, you can reaction time Aegis to the detonate if you just like look for it. It's much easier when you can see Zeus and actually see him do like the, the trucker horn, you know? Hi, how are you? So yeah, I would not recommend going to Fire Stance this much if they can cancel your fire. I mean, Fire Stance is the worst stance by far just because the cooldowns suck and, you know, the majority of your DPS, the one, can get stunned out or knocked up or anything like that. But, because it's a Zeus, you can't do any of those things. It's, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to be able to go to it pretty freely. I'm debating on what relic I want. Um... Honestly, I just got done beating that Ho Yi, so it's like Sprout seems pretty solid. Like just Sprouting him and all the Merlin stuff, while also helping out. Like I can, you know, I can use it defensively to zoom out of there, but also like offensively to say, "Hey, you're stuck." You know, could be something. I'm gonna put this here just in case. I'm pretty sure either Rexy or Sam just did an attack speed Zeus video, and it seems like. That's what this dude's trying to do. Yeah, I'm gonna get the worst end of this trade, but... He's got no anti-heal, so it doesn't really work for him. Yeah, I'm still not gonna have to detonate her Aegis here. I'll probably do like 350. 176, was that not a triple? That was a two charge detonate, okay. I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not too confident that they ever have kill potential on me at the moment. We're going Chronos Pennant first, cause you know, I've already spoke about, when you're when you're an ability based mage that doesn't have auto attack damage, your cooldowns are everything. So prioritizing getting those cooldowns is super important. I wanna make sure that I'm keeping up with that. And there's no way that you're back in there, buddy. Pop. Feeling aggressive. I'm keeping him at bay. But also, I want to blink in there. He's got a triple charge. We know that he hasn't backed in a while, so like I'm still I'm very far ahead gold wise in the build. So I don't care too much if he like tries to get aggressive. Looks like he's looking for one more shield chain lightning to go in. Yeah, 173, that was a tour. So we're just feeling out his damage at the moment. I still haven't had Aegis. And he hasn't went up a second relic yet, because I haven't let him. We'll grab that Chronos Pendant and get back in time for red. It's always nice to start in Ice Stance. Because you poke at a distance with Ice Stance. And then you can switch to either one for the kill, right? Purple for the CC if you're trying to zoom away. Fire if you're just going in for the kill. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he went Aegis, honestly. But again, I, I, I always hold on to the ability to go Sprout when needed. Um, I wouldn't be upset about getting his tower here. Should be coming up soon. I am just gonna step in this for the buff. You are about to see the difference in our damage, friend. Good juke. He has more movement speed than I do. I'm surprised he didn't detonate that. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I was going to Aegis that one if he did, because I want to fight him at blue. But he didn't detonate until it was too late. I do have to put a little bit more respect on his damage, because he already has penetration. Darn. Can't be missing those. Unlucky. 
He is coming from behind, so... I have cooldowns here. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Unfortunate play by him. He thought he was a little more confident. I mean, he was a little bit more confident than he should be, A, and B. Um, didn't account for my damage. Um, I can't get this without poly shots and stuff. I keep saying poly shots. I hope you guys know that I'm talking about Merlin passive. Like Merlin passive gives you enhanced auto attacks after using ability. Alright, um, we're level 17. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna definitely grab a full obsidian shard there and take a look. Probably Aegis, right? If he doesn't get Aegis, I'm just getting Sprout. Like, okay, he didn't get anything. I'm getting Sprout. I don't care anymore. We're in a position where, like, we're, we're, we're locked and loaded to get this dub. So I don't care too much about, uh, you know, about trying to predict what he's gonna go. We could go Polly if we want Phoenix damage. But we also, we also could just go, hi, how are you? Yeah, I don't have anything to chase him down yet. I'm not going to pop a sprint there. You're here? I'll have my flicker up. Wait, he went this way? Broski. Okay, I'm, I'm so bad. Uh, I should probably go for fire. 24 seconds. It's going to be close. If I can keep that big minion alive, maybe. Yeah, let me get him before him. There we go. Okay, very nice. Not bad at all. We take that Phoenix down 13 minutes in. We're pretty close to Bumba's at this point. He did get Aegis, which is what I expected, but maybe he was like holding on for what I usually do, where it's like, hmm, I don't want to get horrific tier. Um, yeah, and I think I'm just going to go Rod. We'll go tier one Rod. Save for the upgrade to Bumba's. And uh, this game's looking about over. I haven't Aegis once. I don't think I've Relicked once. Have I Relicked at all? I don't think so. Where do you think you're going? We gotta use the, uh... The cool, like, Obey-looking skin next. Let's see. We'll get Bumbas. There we go. So now we got cooldowns for days. I mean, we're overcapping in that sense. No, wait, 10, 20, 40. Yeah, we're chilling. We got full CDR. We got Chronos Pendant with resets. Genji's with resets. And uh, Bumba's with resets. I heard him on those minis. No shot he walks up to this wave. Oh my goodness. That's poor man. Well, I got the, some bad news for you guys. This is definitely over. Pop. Uh, uh, yeah, that is definitely it for him. We got Bumba's cooldowns for a reason. We used our first relic of the game. And that's all it took. All right, so that one wasn't bad. Up against an attack speed Zeus, definitely an easier game than you would expect. But uh, it takes a bit, right? Like, I think that build comes online pretty hard late game. Whereas once I get Chronos Pen and Obshot, like, I am here. So let's, uh, let's jump into game number four. All right, we are jumping into game four. Is this game four already versus the... Bro, what is up with all the mages today? What is going on? I think this is game four. There was Janice. There was Ho Yi. A Yu Huang named Bacchus? Bro, what is happening? What is Merlin the movie? We're also playing the SK gaming skin. Uh, we've went a, a pretty a, a myriad of different builds. We've went Bancroft twice though, so I'm gonna go a uh, I'm gonna go a Sands of Time Book of Thoth build and see how that works out. But we're gonna cut out this pause and be right back. Man, I hope you're not streaming. <laughs> nope. Gosh, I can't even type. Nope. Not streaming. Not streaming. Don't worry. We don't have to tell them that we're actually recording. <laughs> All right. So Yu Huang. 
This seems like an Aegis game to me, man. Whenever I play Yu Huang and people like Aegis my ult, it makes me mad. So we're going to try to avoid that if at all possible. He's got pretty decent early pressure, but so does Merlin. So I'm okay with just not leveling Flicker once again. We're getting into it. Jeffrey, I'm swagging. I'm watching you and Sam. It's like, early season four. Thanks for being so funny. Hey, thanks, friend. What a what a gamer, what a gamer. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, let's do this. Let's frag him. We are, we're all nice to him until it's game time. Okay, so Shell, Sands, and I can only assume Chronos Pen it there, so we're gonna have to deal with some Yu Huang cooldowns, no doubt. Alright, we kinda pounded the wave and him. He does have Celestial Flight at level 3, so slow in the early pressure for some safety. Smart. Good to fair chance we just outburst. Yeah, given his position, he's gonna try to go for this. But he's too little, too late, bucko. He missed the Phoenix Flames and the Tao Cultivation. Bop. And we're gonna bop, 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 bop. Dude, wait, I, I literally just said last game that I wasn't gonna get any more songs stuck in your guys' head. No. Um, so I definitely could go invade his blue. But I'm not gonna do that. Because I just want to continue farming, and I should be able to confirm minis alone. At that point, we'll be chilling. Like, confirming minis. That's all we really need to get a lead. I mean, we already have a pretty big lead. 200 already. Yeah, Yu Huang, not the best uh, pressure character. I was trying to get a Yu Huang video for such a long time in Duel, and I kept getting out pressured by, uh, like, Bologna's and Oleron's and stuff. Late game, though, I would fry. Like, actually, I'd be like, wait a second, this god's broken. But it would just take so long to get there, I would get tilted, and I would stop doing my commentary. So I'd win by the end, but I would just be like, like, I would just have no pressure, and it's boring. Like, I, I, I am a content creator in the sense that I am always trying to have something, like, going on. You know, if the gameplay's boring, I'll try to be, you know, expressive or something like that. I always try to, you know, tell you guys what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, etc. But it's like... When I'm just getting out, like, just putting the dirt, it is so hard to find stuff to talk about, you know? And then when I stop talking, I get even more tilted. Um, as long as we have our flicker, we're never gonna hit by dueling dragons, so I don't have to worry about his damage. And we also have Aegis, just in case. He's gonna be in some trouble here, though. I respect what he's doing. He keeps putting damage onto me. My 2-1 isn't gonna kill. Yeah, see, that's all I was waiting for. As long as we have Flicker there, we'll always make sure that's a wasted ultimate. Um, we'll pop a Chalice, clear this wave, go for minis, and probably hit level 8, which is uh, pretty absurd for 2-3 minutes into the game. Yeah, we're gonna use the... We're gonna use the stand switch to clear the wave, but not throw anything else. We're almost 700 gold up, man. Un... Or true not. We didn't quite hit level 8, but we do get Book of Thoth, and that's what I was looking for. I do hope that, uh, you know, if this is Chronos Panel, we could be in some trouble. You know, like, there's a lot of damage that Yu Huang has access to once he's able to spam those cooldowns. I just think Merlin is one of the best Mage v Mage uh, characters that doesn't bring auto attacks. Like, obviously, like Poseidon, Chronos, Freya, like, you're not beating any of them with Merlin, um, you know, if they're good. We're gonna get that. Huh. I was gonna say we're gonna get the celestial flight out, but not quite. So we need like two autos and a snowball here. There's the shell. We can wait that out though. Hmm. Not bad. Wonder if they'll stick around. Smacked in the face. Smacked in the face. So I asked that man because when this skin was made, they used vo voice lines from the whole team. And uh, this line right here. Jeffrey, I'm swagging. I said, Zap, you know, love the skin, man. You guys did a great job. Who the fuck's Jeffrey? And he said, huh? And I said, who's Jeffrey? And he's like, you know, I don't know. And I was like, what? <laughs> because it was like, what, Paul? Uh, Scary D, Sam for Soccer, um, Paul, Scary D, Sam for Soccer, Zap, and 
and Neil Ma. And I'm like, none of you guys are named Jeffrey. Your coach isn't named Jeffrey. Who's Jeffrey? And he's like, I have no idea. And I'm like, what? Like, like he, he, he was the only person on planet Earth, I thought, that could tell me who Jeffrey was. I don't know. Me and my chat have theorized, like, maybe it's Jeff Hinla. I'm like, why would Jeff Hinla be in the SK Gaming World Champions kit? Like, that makes no sense. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I have no idea. And then they won again as Pittsburgh Knights. And that was with Cuvo. Who still is not Jeffrey. Like, it is... I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. We're just talking about the lore of Jeffrey I'm swagging. If anyone could help me out, I would appreciate it. I used to tick damage there so I could kill him when he went up into the dragon. Luckily, he didn't go up into the dragon. He went down. We put him in the dirt. Um, this is going to be a quick one. I don't know what the timer is. I don't know how close we are to being done. Usually these end in about four, but I think these have been more quick. So this might be a fiver. You know? Like, usually, like, my game... My game versus, like, Rexy and Sam took a while. So it was like... You know, it kind of made sense that those took a while. But I haven't queued into them. And you guys didn't believe me. It was complete random. Like, you guys gotta understand. I don't try and queue in Rexy or Sam. It just happened, like... I hope that's not the standard for these movies going forward. They're like, you guys, you didn't do some massive collab with someone. I'm like, I'm just queuing, guys. We just got lucky. Like, that's all it was. And now we're seeing this. Yu Hong is heading over for mids. We are going to go for the gank. I'm just going to eat this. That did absolutely nothing. Smart pivot there. You know what I'm talking about? Like, damage-wise, he is kind of swinging. Like, don't get me wrong, I still have Aegis, and... One more snowball will do it. <laughs> one more snowball will do it, and we'll be able to finish that one. Um, only 10 seconds on the respawn. We're not going to be able to get too much damage here. But we'll go for it. We shall go for it. I'll put points in the ult just for more DPS. Oh no. A Phoenix shot. I'm going to ward there just so we can make sure to get that red buff. If he gets online, I could see this getting much more competitive. <laughs> Unlucky. There's just no way that he ever catches me. <laughs> we still have our Aegis for the cultivated Dao. It just doesn't do any damage. In fact, I'm going to kill him just for the hell of it. Come here, Bufus. I should have blinked. I didn't think that hit me. I should have blinked. I didn't think it hit me. All right, I'm the Bufus. I'm the Bufus. I'll admit it. This is a blink game. This is definitely a blink game. I went playing against the Janus. I'm the Boofus, all right? I'll admit it. Should have flickered. Or Aegis. Flicker was definitely the play, and then Aegis the second ability, but it's fine. I was feeling confident, all right? We're still up over a thousand gold. What can I say? It's a movie. Unlucky. I'm in a position where fire is certainly on the table, but I'd rather wait for Chronos Pendant. We definitely want red buff, so we're not going to pick that one up. Man, I got wards. You warded my guy? I wonder if he's going to get relic wise. That is a smart play. Like, thus far, his build is good. I think just Yu Huang himself takes a bit to come online. That's all. Definitely don't have the damage to try and fight back into a Phoenix Siege. But, like, we can get some of it. And he's got the range. I'm trying to keep him at a distance. But, it is time for Chrono Spend it. I know I was on a ward last time. I was gonna say, guy. So I will. If I need to, flicker in. Alright, so we got Chronos Pendant. We got Book of Thoth. I'll have to see what he goes next. 
Obshard is the obvious call for me. But Polly, I think, would be fun. I think I will go Polly this game just to try it out. We're going for a new style of builds here. Merlin the movie. Breaking, breaking build boundaries since... I don't know. 2022. I was looking at the date, but... I don't want to date this movie by saying the date. I want you guys to be able to watch this for, for millennia to come. Alright? Yeah, he's playing it really smart. He rarely goes for the wave when I'm around. Like, he's only going for poke, which is what you should be doing. Because he can always get the farm. That poke, that sticks. And he also knows that I'm a headass, and I will try to fight him with low HP. Unfortunate. We up. We're pumping damage numbers. And luckily we are kind of losing the damage trade. <laughs> we want to keep him at a distance. He does have Aegis. Come on! I guess we have to go for this again. Does he know I'm here? I think he does. I think he's well aware that I am here. <laughs> We're whittling that Phoenix away, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, Polly. Polly would definitely help out with that. How many times have I said in these movies, I'm gonna go Polly, because they're all magical, right? Yeah, Scylla... Scylla into Ymir into now Merlin. So for the next one, I don't know if I talked about it at the beginning of this video, I probably did. Um, we're going to be taking away mages and guardians for more diversity. So it'll have to be an assassin, hunter, or warrior next time. And I hope you guys understand. You know, we just want to get some diversity. I would love for it to be like mage, guardian, warrior, hunter, assassin, back to me. You know, something like that. And if it gets too oppressive, or like the mages and the guardians are just always winning. Then yeah, we can go for something like that. Oh, he did that a little bit early. He did hit those. God, I gotta hit those or else my fight is not as cool as I think. Oh, we got the bulwark, baby. We got the bulwark. Oh, that's both of his abilities. Yeah, I'm not going to kill you, bro. Unfortunately for you. I mean, now I'm going to kill you. Polly. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I'm going for the 360 fire spin at this point. He upgraded Shell. Uh, I mean, wow, that's surprising. Pretty early to do that. 17 seconds. I don't know if that's a game, but we'll go for it. We got Merlin. We're going for all the damage we can. We hit every poly shot. It's not enough. The minions did not walk in. We must escape. There is no special. Not bad, man. Let's go. Enemy ultimate incoming. Enemy ultimate down. Jeffrey, I'm swagging. <laughs> I want to see what other funny ones there are. I haven't, I haven't used this skin in a while since it came out because there's so many good Merlin skins. All right, this game is not as quick as I thought. I really thought we'd be done with it at this point. No offense to this guy. Just mage v mage matchup. I'm ahead. Just seems pretty easy to put him in the dirt uh, from the lead. I did throw once, of course, but that's just, you know, it's for, we throw for content around here. Everyone knows that. And usually I would upgrade my star item first, but it's like, I don't really need the cooldown. The damage is nice, but I'd rather have Polly. I mean, I can flicker every 10 seconds. I haven't Aegis yet, I don't think. Yeah, unfortunately for him, has not been able to uh, really connect with those ults for too much damage. Well, that's the, that's a dubski for sure. Definitely a quick one, I would say. 
Uh, I'm not sure what the timer's at. That might be... Yeah, we'll play one more probably regardless. GG to this guy. And let's jump into the last game and uh, really traverse this map for Merlin the movie. All right, I ran the numbers and this is going to be our last matchup in Merlin the movie. We've had some intense ones versus OG. We've had a couple mages. Now let's see, game number five. What will you bring us? The Jogger, bro? Dude, another mage. What is going on today? This is absurd. All right. So we got ourselves versus the Zhong. Who's it going to be? I don't recognize the name, but he's got the diamond. All right. This guy came to play as well. What build will we go to when our back's against the wall? When we need the dub to close this one out. Um, I did like the Bancroft Sands of Time, to be honest with you. That could be something we lean towards. And I think I will. I think I'll commit to it. So let's go Bancroft Sands of Time. Man. Um, shell certainly could be on the table, but I think I will grab this. Yeah, because I don't think sprint benefits us too much. This is probably either a thorns or a sprint. A or a, yeah, we'll go. We'll go shell Aegis just to fight in the early. Uh, Zhang doesn't have the best early damage. So we don't care too much. Good luck, gamer. Let's get into this, though. Everything is on the line. Start playing the hype music. I just saw a ward get placed. He's probably right here. I was wrong. I don't have flicker. We don't want to take too much damage in the early. Correct me if I'm wrong, but have we gotten like red buff almost every single time? Like I think every game today, or I mean it's been over a few days, but every game in this movie, I feel like people have given us the respect and just went for their blue buffs. I'm going to double check to make sure he wasn't on this. He was okay so that means we're gonna be a little bit behind clear wise but that means we can also head over to his blue he doesn't do it quickly so we can grab both of these in the process that's why i wanted to flicker there i didn't want to be late right like it's one thing to get out pressure but it's another to be late to the party we are gonna walk up as he goes for some abilities and try and steal this one away oh hi yeah he doesn't do enough damage for me to put any respect on him though uh, all right, we will pop this because we do have to be careful. He has the will hit level five here and that's a little bit spooky He will walk this way though, so Get a little bit of damage off He doesn't have his ult yet. Remember a couple minis will do it Yeah, as long as he's here we're fighting into a Zhang with no ult right like that does not scare us Oh, he used to stun unlucky for this guy Oh, he got it he got it! Yeah, I was gonna say, that could be spooky. Archers, baby! Let's go! That's our first blood. Um, this is a risky call. We have MP5. He's on the way. This could be the throw. This could be the, the loss of Merlin the movie because I go for blue. It's not. And we get out of there. Beautiful. Beautiful. We flicker away. We flicker away. I haven't seen him on the wave yet, so I'm not going to channel my back. There he is. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful start. Nothing more we could ask for. That was a nail biter. Um, in a situation like that, whoever shells first loses. Um, that should go without saying, right? Like, it, it just works out much better for you if you hold your shell. But I was about to die, so he definitely shelled first. If I got hit by, like, one more ghosty, that could have been bad. But we made it out. And since he has tick damage, we get the early lead. And now, oh my goodness, I did not even mean to hit him with that. So we juke that. He uses his full abilities. We have a chalice, as well as just cooldowns here. This is not a fight that he really wins. We're going to wait for the stun, hopefully. I'm not going to one until his stun is down. There it is. We are able to juke it. There's another kill for us. Beautiful. Beautifully played. Another I will say, Merlin should get out pressured by Jean, but when you get first blooded, you can't go as, uh, as deep as you would like. I think he's just a little bit overzealous, so off to a great start. This red buff is going to take a bit too long, so we're going to head back. And remember, he invaded our, our blue last time. And honestly, I, sh I should have saved that stand switch for the buff, because I, uh, you know, on a 24 second cooldown, that was definitely bad by me. Um, we're just going to grab this. We don't have shell. And we don't have to, anything to be afraid of. I mean, we just have infinitely more burst than him. He was trying to head for this. Does he not know? I've got Bancrofts, man. I mean, you're not... 
You're not out confirming me for a buff anytime soon. And he's on mini, so we actually get red as well. That is fantastic. He's gift wrapping the dub for us. We love to see it. We love to see it. Alright. Seems to be it. I don't see any reason to stick around. We'll back up here. We do have to put a little bit of presence on cooldowns. I was I want anti-heal, obviously, because Zhang with like lifesteal, it's like Hades, man. Like a full a wave is a full clear, but I don't think we need bulwark or anything. Genji's into Chronos Pendant still seems like the best option for me. Some great poke there. He just doesn't have the healing to try and match my damage currently. Get an ult out of him, then we can back away. And we're still going to be fighting for that blue buff. Like, we'll just get the ult out, you know? He's a little bit less tanky, his damage goes down. And we're able to just run it down. And because he backed there, yeah, I was going to say, I stop his back pretty much for free. Oop, beautiful. Remember last time, last time this could have been the throw. Will it be once again? It's taking a little bit longer than I wanted. Pull it in. I actually don't have flicker. I was going to say like... Oh, I picked it up. I didn't mean to pick it up. I really did not want that buff. Alright, we'll back it up here. We'll back it up. Play it smart. I don't think we've gotten claw this whole video. So we've only gotten Bancroft twice, right? Did we do it the first one? We might have versus the Janus. For you, it was about an hour ago. For me, it was days ago. Oh, a little lag spike there from your boy. Gonna go for the extra damage. I wanted to see what I could bait out from there. I went for the double poly shot. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna stop his back. So there's no farm. Stopping his back would just be like for annoyance purposes there. We're able to just run over to these minis, grab them. And uh, back up for our Aegis. I see no reason to get anything else, truthfully. Like, there's a world where Sprint helps us, but we're just doing more damage than him currently, so... Build upon a sturdy Aegis foundation. just seems better. Like, don't get me wrong. From even, Aegis is great. From behind, Aegis is great. From ahead, I mean, I could have got Shell. I could have got Blink, but I I'm playing to guarantee the dub here. It's definitely the best call. Polly. We're just making sure we do as much as we can. So, once again, he's stunned. And we are just gonna out-trade him here. We're gonna stay out of range of his stun. Polly. Should be enough. It wasn't. Wow, I'm amazed. Alright. We're not gonna get the credit for that one. Unlucky. We are playing extremely well, I think. We actually still get the red buff, which is fantastic. And then we're able to flicker over, clear this as well. Man, we are playing with uh, quite the lead here, huh? Look at the gold. This is getting out of hand fast. Let's go early claw just because we can. And then we'll go, uh, go divine. Watch that bite me in the butt. Like, I really need, like, upgraded rod or something late game, and I just can't get it. We'll see. I like the claw early. It, it makes it so you can't throw, because you just get extra shielding, you know? Like, extra damage, extra shielding. It's just nice. We do want Soul Reaver. Can't reach me from there. Yeah, I'm... I was positioning myself to make sure you couldn't get too close. He is going to have to back up again. Man, we are just dominating this matchup. Can I pause real quick? Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, of course. Of course. Got no problem with that. All right, we'll pause that and uh, we'll cut it out. All right, so uh, he asked me to pause as well, and I obliged because we have a massive lead. I was going to do... I would do it anyways, even if I was losing, but like, you know, want to give him the, the chance to play his heart out. At the moment, man, playing for late game with Warlocks could be a little bit challenging. We're just, I think we've been on point. Like, I don't think we've made too many mistakes this whole game. Which means that our lead has been able to climb because of that fact. It's possible I forgot to invade his blue buff because of all that. And I actually think that is what happened. He played me, man. 
He played me like a fiddle. This man really baited me. He's like, oh, oh, he stepped in there, so I need to be careful. Okay, we have a little bit of time to cycle some poly shots. Now we can just pop the wave. There we go. Now we get out. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we get some extra pressure. We did lose out on invading that blue buff, so we have been playing like perfectly. I won't be too upset about it because Zhang just has natural bulk. Like his stat, his base stats are pretty sick. 163 magical protections just with 70 from freaking Genji's, whereas I have 126. So Obsidian Shard definitely going to get its money's worth here. And he actually went for Blink, which is not something I expected because. You know, him getting close to me late game is great for him. Him getting close to me at the moment when I just do more damage is not great for him. Get a fair bit of poke out. That Genji's proc comes through. I could have flickered that, and I will just flicker his whole. Doesn't really care. He doesn't have anti heal, so his ult, if it doesn't burst me, is never that great for him. And now we just kill. He wanted to blink there. You saw him channel it. <laughs> he auto attack the air. You could tell he was going for it, but I'm not about to miss my snowballs. And we are able to confirm another kill and grab the tower. I know his blue buff's not quite up yet. Come on. His blink's up, so... Hello? Yeah, I was gonna say. I know it's not up yet. Hopefully the minions grab that. I should be extremely careful here, actually. He'd be able to get a lot off a kill at this point in the game. I'm just gonna back up. It's just a smart call. Um, he is going Chronos Pendant himself, so I'm going to match that for sure. Not something I want to deal with. This Zhong, like, ulting me twice in a fight, whereas I can't, like, Flicker away, you know? Of course, Zhong ult is never going to be matched by Flicker, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. In such a good position, but still. Have to give respect where respect is due. That's a Zhong around the other side. That's the hidden gem. You guys have been around for years. You know what I'm talking about. I don't think he can go for fire at any time, so... be a while before we see that aggression. We're able to grab that one. He did miss a lot of his combo there. I'm gonna body block him. Oh, I missed it. I missed the body block. Unfortunate. I'd be surprised if he... I was gonna say if he didn't... Stay here. I didn't actually hit the full combo there, so I wasn't able to kill him. Would have been close. I wanted auto one, auto two, as you saw, but my one got like caught up and I couldn't send it. The old snowball didn't get to launch. Man, we are playing like clinical. I'm impressed with how much I've been able to land um, while also not fearing him too much. He went and rocked? Okay, so a lot more damage coming out of the Zhonger. Let's put a little bit more respect on this guy. I thought he was going cooldown. Maybe we'll just go Rod then. Maybe we'll just go Rod. Might as well, right? I've been saying I wanted to go Polly this whole game. Maybe we go Rod Polly, honestly. I see that, be be that being pretty fun. He is on the way. Yeah, we're not going to go for this. He does more bursts than me when I'm in fire stand, so it doesn't seem like a worthy play. He's just gonna go for the minis. We could set up a little ambush here. Nah, I'll just one the wave. And now we'll go in there. Alright, this combo's down. Get that Genji's proc. And we juke that out. We're gonna make sure he can't blink away. Oh, wow. He blinked right as I was sending that auto attack. I'm going to say, I'd be surprised if he tried to turn this. Do you have to respect his damage a little bit? 
But with upgraded Sands of Time and Genjis, that's 30% with a Power Pot as well, or a blue buff as old cooldown. Yeah, I'm cool with the rod. Let's do it. Match that rod, upgrade Sands, and then go for the poly. By my hand, so we can officially go a different build every single time. He's heading over to fire. You thought wrong. You thought wrong. That minion's following him the whole way, so I know exactly where he is. I'm assuming he does this. Oh, I couldn't blink it. You saw I tried to get ahead of that. This is going to be hard for him to live. Well, turning the fight is definitely not... It's going to be even harder for him to turn the fight at that point. I think a smart call by him to make a beeline for FG. Just in case. He probably didn't have it warded, you know. In fact, he 100% didn't have it warded because he ran there. But with our poly shots with our Robbie, should be able to grab this pretty easily. Oh my goodness, it really is an extra 50 damage at this point in the game. It's crazy. How many mages can get a phoenix like this without like auto attacks? Like Scylla with Polly, you know, she's able to match that damage pretty well, but I, you actually have to have Polly. You don't just get it from your passive. Again, we're going to be clinical here with our farming. Get that Sands of Time upgraded ASAP then send it back. I do think that blink was a misplay by him. When you're when you're behind, I just don't think you have that luxury. Like you really do have to prioritize surviving, meaning like Aegis. If you're blinking out like he did, you know, it worked out once, but with Merlin, I'm able to keep him at a distance with a lot of my poke, but also chase down when need be. Uh, I just don't think he can match that damage at the moment. He needs like a soul reaver and a rod or something. I mean, uh, an obsidian shard. Did waste the stand switch there, but should be back up before we really need it. And now we're at, you know, breaking the base time. Man, I'm choking. I haven't been playing this so well. This siege here. I'll just wait that out. No reason to go into the old. You are a foul demon. He's gonna have to shell, and I don't even know if that's enough. Polly. Oh, I missed it, man. I didn't miss that Polly shot. We're fine! I keep calling it Polly. It's very clearly not Polly, you know? I hope you guys realize that. Wow, he actually hit that. Alright. He went Book of the Dead! That is not something I expected. I'm really not trying to end. I would love to brawl with him one more time. There it is. That will be the one to do it. And we should be able to grab that poly in the face. But he ended. He up six beforehand. Not bad, man. You know, as we were playing through this, first of all, GG, friend. As we were playing through this, I really started to enjoy Merlin more and more. Like, I, I found him insufferable because he just loses early pressure, which is unfortunate. But... You know, as we were going on, felt pretty good. Man, we still didn't get back into Masters. Unlucky. Unlucky. Must be, must have raged up too much. Look at that damage numbers. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, definitely make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and drop a comment if you enjoyed. We'll be voting on the next movie in my community tab. Make sure you join the Discord as well. I'll at you when we are doing that. And uh, it's been Trelly, guys. Peace.